righteousness is humility. Humility keeps you from crossing that thin line between your passion exploding with life-changing success and your head expanding in arrogance. So what does humility look like? Humility gathers those around us to rise together looking to the gifts of others to expand our success and work. Humility recognizes we don't know everything and searches for wisdom from those who have gathered around us. Humility seeks to build up our partners, to lift up their self-confidence in an effort to share the success and goodness we have accomplished together. You can't do this work of humility if you have an inferiority complex. An inferiority complex believes that there's only so much goodness or, or recognition that can go around. So if you lift up someone else, that means you'll get less recognition. That's the work of self-righteousness. But humility, on the, other, on the other hand, recognizes that recognition is abundant. That being lifted up in ourselves is only enhanced by lifting others up. And here's the key. Humility requires self-confidence. And a firm belief that God has redeemed you and made you righteous in Christ so that you can share the successes and goodnesses with goodness with others without worrying about it taking away from you. Humility is not thinking less of yourself, but to think of yourself less. The weak and insecure leader always takes the path of self-righteousness. The strong and confident leader exudes humility. In other words, we are strong and wise in Christ. But don't let it go to your head. Our call and the humility necessary to experience its fullness in God leads us to the last teaching about Christ in our lives. How do we boast in a way that is humble instead of self-righteous? We boast from a position of strength and self-confidence in Christ. For we do not need the spotlight to know our worth. We boast in the success of those around us, for we do not need to lift ourselves over them. We boast in Christ because we know His wisdom, strength, and success has set us free and redeemed us. This boasting does not make us less than. It reveals our strength and righteousness, our confidence, because of what Christ has done for us and because of the Spirit that is in work in us. Parkside, may you be people of profound humility in all that you do. Lifting others up and seeking their wisdom. May you avoid the trap of thinking less of yourself. 
For humility takes strength, wisdom, and confidence. And may you always remember what our Lord and Savior has done for you. Boasting in His righteousness and His redemption of your life. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.